You want children to like books. You want them to have good associations with books. You want them to know that books are sources of pleasure and information. And you want them to want to learn to read. And although most children won't actually learn to read until they're at least five years old, six months is not too early to start sharing story time. Both because of what's going on with the baby developmentally and because the parent can enjoy it as well. Six months is a good time to start bringing books into a baby's life and letting a baby start developing a real affection for them. Of course, anyone who's given a book to an infant or toddler knows it isn't always the storyline that fascinates him or her. He's responding, he's interested, and a parent can see that and understand, my baby likes this. And book-loving babies become toddlers who crave story time. Van Dye has been reading to her son Jason, and sometimes her niece Vivian, since they were babies. He loved to listen. So when it's a story time, usually it's the best time of the day. Actually, sometimes he make me to read him a story, you know. He bargain with me. Okay, mommy, why don't we read two stories today and I'd be good tomorrow. May I sleep here tonight? Yes, 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 a hundred times. Even though yes. English is her second language, Van Dye is an exceptional reader. She keeps Jason and Vivian engrossed by reading to them interactively and making story time fun. Yeah, look at this. He sprayed right at the little bunny. Why? Yeah, he got scared. What makes it fun? Using voices that are different. Making children laugh. Humor is an enormous asset in reading to young children, reading stories that interest them. Being willing to read the same book over and over and over and over to your two-year-old who has a hundred books but only wants that one. Those are all the right way to do it. Doing it in a way that's positive. The only thing that's wrong is to do it in a way that feels to you and especially that feels to the child like an assignment. If you're careful to keep reading fun rather than a chore, you can go a long way towards helping your child learn to read. What's this letter? It's a really hard job for young children to learn to read. Good, good job. You want children to know what's at the other end of this chore. And Van Dye is convinced that reading to her son Jason has helped him excel in school. His teacher says that he's a very smart kid. He um, pays attention in the class, and he's a good listener, maybe because I read to him. So can reading to your children make them smarter? I don't think we can promise that all by itself, but growing up with a love of books and reading, I truly believe, sets you on a path that is likely to make you as smart as you can be. Can you guess? Yeah, it's a bee. Look.